Howdy everybody, welcome back to World of Final Fantasy where I'm a little excited to get into this next part because uh, there, there's some interesting things about when you go into the Rainbow Shore because it's just a transitional area, you know, there's not really anything to the Rainbow Shore. But the next area, oh, the next area, see it's interesting, I'm excited. Oh, by the way, I've been upgrading everyone. Future rule here, he has the joyride ability, so I no longer have to rely on Chaz. But I'm okay with that. You know, Chaz is a good guy, but, uh, yeah. Oh, welcome to the Dragon Scars. Guess what we're gonna you be don't encountering? Want to take a spill down these the cliffs. Oh, come on. How old do you think me and Rain are? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Lon, slapstick's less funny if you die from it. But the real question is, am I gonna, like, uh, encounter a dragon? Is that gonna be my new mirage? I guess I'm gonna find out. I won't hold back. Right, let's do this. <laughs> okay, Cavernome, everyone. I already got one. See, back in the ne Nether Nebula, Nether Neb, whatever, Nether Nebula, uh, I encountered a copper gnome, and I was like, okay, I could use this because they're gonna have pillars that have like earth resistance, and you're gonna need that in t or to trigger it. Point is, I already got one for that whole entire that spiel, but it turns job. out it's not really necessary anymore. And I have like a copper gnome in my party who's now a mythical giant. And so, because I have that, I guess I can start using it. And so, this is already turning into a pretty good situation. I'm kind of happy. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, give me a second, everyone. You know, naming and all that stuff. Oh, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Mithril Giant thing where it, I'm now a Mithril Giant. Yeah, that's right. I inserted myself in the game because I had to somehow or another. Anyways, uh, yeah, I decided Mithril Giant, who was our copper gnome and whatnot. That is me. I, me, Gildum, and cop, Mithril Giant, copper gnome thing, whatever. Point is, I'm now on the team. I've reordered the stacks and everything. Uh, I took Spider Mikey out just a little bit. He's still on our party. Well, still in our, like, you know, case. We can put him in anytime we want, but I decided to put him on the benches. Yeah, watch your step or you... Whoop, no, no. Wow, it's even funnier the second time. Yo, I'm not even anywhere near Cliff. I, I don't know what they're talking about. Point Let's is, make this uh, good. dude, it's oh, all hey. You know what? Since I had Mythal Giant have a smash ability, you know what would be useful right now? See that little flying eyeball thing? It's called a blood eye. Um, I haven't really gotten one, and I've been encountering a lot of places that have load, and it's like I figure I need it one. Also, I'm in the team now, because that, that's pretty dope. So yeah, I'm just gonna capture one of these blood eyes. I know, I know, I'm breaking protocol, but I need some sort of HM slave or something along those lines. You know, something with an ability I can actually use out on the field. And I know, it, it probably wouldn't be like a normal situation, but at the same time I had Copper Gnome, who turned into a Mithril Giant, he was using his smash ability here, there, everywhere. I guess my point is... I want, I want the bloody eyeball here, cause if I can get that guy, I'll have the float ability, or I guess it's flutter. I call it the float ability, cause float is like a thing in Final Fantasy, it's a magical ability. It negates earth elemental abilities like earthquake or what Good have job. you. I don't really know what I'm going on about, but point is, I want that guy. Uh, in order to imprison him, because I didn't bring up Lever. In order to imprison him. Oh, Blood Eye. My bad. I don't know how to say names. So, Blood Eye. He, uh, basically what you need in order to imprison him is you just gotta have him be the last guy standing. In other words, defeat everyone else, and then you can imprison him. And that's how I did it. 
That's what I did to get this guy. Anyways, Flutter. That's the only reason I'm bringing him in on the team. Okay, everybody got that? Normally, I wouldn't do this. But because I need thing to do the thing, I, I want it. See, right here. This is why I'm doing it. I could have gotten it earlier. I didn't think about it. Now I'm paying for it, and I'm gonna have to go to previous areas where I have to do this. But hey, you're okay with that? I'll show that off at some point. Okay. Anyways, so outside that. Sure is fun. I could fly around all day. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't really give a shit, man. Did you just accidentally come up with a haiku? And who says boy, oh boy? I do. You know, to be honest, I, I kind of, I kind of am digging Lon a lot. You know, I feel like if I was in this team, I'd be very representative of Lon. But I digress. You know, I, I kind of like the balance between Rain and Lon. You know, Rain is the smart one. Lon is just Man, like he. I he, wish he, I was as strong as a dragon. I'd be all like, wow. Which would make you one strange dragon. But I agree. The mirages we're facing have been getting tougher and tougher. You the need to learn to exploit your Mirage's elemental resistances. You want us to blow them up? Um, that's explode. And while I'd love to give you credit for the first four letters, you clearly weren't listening. Ugh, that's clearly what you've got. Okay, apparently I, mo I loved up that dialogue. Who cares? We got dragons, everybody. Remember the holy dragons? Let's make this good. Yeah, these aren't holy dragons. They're just regular red dragons. But hey, I'm okay with that. Uh, normally, you'd think they'd be pretty tough. They're actually not too bad. I mean, I know the holy dragons are kind of really intimidating. But turns out, if you leave one of these guys... Uh, not quite as bad. As you can see, their health is a lot lower. Uh, they got a lot of fire resistance, so, you know, maybe not do any sort of fire ability. It's not going to be very successful. Oh, yeah, they also have Flare Star, so, you know, that can be a little intimidating. But otherwise, these dragons, not a big deal. And especially with the fact that I'm on the team now, represents the Mithril Giant. Um, I'm, I'm just going to beat down everything, along with Future Ruler and Chaz. Oh man, if I got if I got Spider Mikey in on this hot action, we would have no issue whatsoever. But I have to get Pip Flup a little bit of a showcase because you know she's up to par now. You know she she has the ice ability. She's gonna be able to chill things out a bit. Man, I'm feeling really punny today. I don't really know why. Anyways, not the point. Point is. Now that I have the Flutter ability, I can go grab treasure like Wobble Stoppers. And I can go do other things that involve exploring. Because, I mean, the truth is, that that's half the game right here, you know. You go play the JRPGs, you go on the map, you gotta explore, man. You gotta get all the treasure. I gotta go showcase everything I missed, but not right now. Oh, not right now. It's gonna happen in the near future, viewers. Don't you worry. I won't forget. It might think it might seem like I'll forget, but I won't. Oh, hey. So, okay. So dragons, those large stack dragons, they evolve from something. Here's one of the things they evolved from. Yes, we got these little where are they spark dragons. Oh, I got that right. Oh man. <laughs> so spark dragons. Uh, they're they're basically you know electric. They do the thing, you know, they're pretty basic, they're kind of adorable, uh, honestly, this is what I thought I was going to be running into, this is what I thought I was going to be grabbing, you know, all that sort of stuff, but it turns out, it wasn't, because I got, I got me on the team, so, you know, I'm, I'm okay with this, honestly, best result imaginable, you know, I got the best outcome, so it's all good. I'm sorry, I'm excited, man, I didn't think I was going to be put... Like on the team. I didn't think I was gonna find something where I could represent myself. Turns out that's what happened. So everything is all good. Oh Okay, anyways. 
while I try to calm down, uh, Spark Dragons, you know, they have a Thunder counter ability, much like I think their larger no evolutionary form does as well, you know, they, except I think instead of Thunder, it's more fire, but point is, uh, Dragons aren't a bad Mirage. I find that they get a little lackluster in the later parts of the game, but until then, uh, you, you can't really go wrong with the Dragon. I mean, it's a Dragon. What are you gonna do? Be all sad? No, man. If I got a dragon, I'd name myself after that, too. That'd also be a pretty good representative. Because, you know, I feel very large and in charge, but... I don't know. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is... Uh, I, I would have thought there'd be a little more usage in dragons. They did not really give, like, a, a lot of, like, good late usage. So, I, what I'm saying is... You can go for a dragon. You won't be sorry, but... Later in the game, you'll encounter a lot better things that can utilize much better stuff, like abilities and stats. Dragons right, are just kind of mad. Come on, bring it. Oh, hey, more blood eyes. I could grab those. They're not bad. Like I said, to imprison them, you just have to leave one of them as the last standing mirage. It's pretty simple, you know, you grab it, and then you move on with your life. I decided to grab one, but, you know, and, uh, break the protocol. I think that's what I'll call this part. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Anyways, so, you know, other than that, there's not really a whole lot to talk about. Uh, because, you see, we're, we're just moving along the, uh, the Dragon Scars. Also, this little section, if I haven't really brought it up, it's a little bit of a pachinko sort of... Uh, Thing. You got ledges, you go down them, you can't really go up, you just gotta figure out which is the best slot to go down. Much like Pachinko! So, Tama, and... could you tell us more about exploiting resistances? Kaboom! Would you stop? Uh. Right! Where the was I? Oh! You may have noticed the mirages here like to the fight with fire! But if you put mirages with high fire resistance in your stacks... You can reduce the damage you take from flames! Likewise, squiggles would be a very handy mirage to have in this part. So if you caught a sea snake, let me tell you, you're probably in pretty good shape because everything's pretty weak against water, except for the thunder dragons. I'm, I'm pretty sure that water isn't very effective. In fact, I think squiggles will kind of die, but I digress, you know, not the point. Point is, squiggles kind of outweighs the cons okay, in this whole go. entire sector, hold. unless you're in this battle right here, right now. Yeah, they got the shock spikes. And they got the shock, oh my god, they got thunder. They got thunder and electricity going on all over this place. Also, I like how they kind of have clouds. Normally, I would probably catch one because in no terms of actually oh, yeah. catching a dragon, you're not really going to encounter too many opportunities. I mean, you got a couple. Uh, but this is the main area where you're really going to have a chance to just cat snag one for your team. So, little note to keep in mind, if you want a dragon, I definitely recommend catching one here and now. You do have, like, another opportunity that comes to mind a little bit later, and that place is going to be pretty dope. Oh, uh, he needs whoa, whoa, whoa. one of those. I don't have that. It knows how to play defense. I guess we'll have to give it what it wants. We always have to give it what it wants. Dude, it all makes sense now. What? The elemental resistance stuff? You actually followed that? Well, sure. Basically, we need to imprison as many of the mirages around here as we can. Huh? Whoa! W what? You were the right! Somehow, you understood what to do, even if you didn't understand the whys. Ha ha ha! I'm a man of action. I don't believe in whys. That much is the obvious. No one in her right mind would put Lon and Wise in the same sentence. But Wise are half the fun, because a lot of it's hypothetical. Or, you know, at least getting answers to the questions that you have. Anyways, not the point. Point is, I got a remedy. 
No, seriously, I like Flutter, because, you know, honestly, if I didn't have the capabilities of doing this, you know, I'd, I'd probably be a little SOL, and I'd have to showcase this later. Ooh, <laughs> we missed out on a couple things. Anyways, I gotta go fight another dragon. But before I fight that dragon, I gotta fight these dragons. Oh, man, we got a new Mirage, and I can't show it off. If I remember correctly, these things... Oh, what are they? Uh, I think they're called a Bihydra. I can't remember all the names off the top of my head, but that sounds right. I was gonna say Poison Lizard because they do that, but uh, no, no. So you got Dual Lizards, and then I think you got Bihydras, and I'm pretty sure that's what that guy was. And if I remember correctly, they're also pretty good. They're about as useful as Dual Lizards, and Dual Lizards aren't a bad Mirage to get. They get pretty interesting in the later half of the game you know they have some pretty usage pretty cool usage in the latter half of the game yes that's what I'm trying to say on the other this. hand on, more fire dragons you might be wondering how do I get one you gotta inflict a critical if I didn't show that up that's really all you gotta do to Libra imprison these guys Lever will, yeah, see, critical, you get the prism opportunity that you've been dying for. Because you might want one of these guys. Also, I got a double critical on each one. That, that's pretty crazy. By double, I mean I got one on the one and one on the you other, but I'm not looking to okay. capture him. Truth be told, I might go in prison one later on. Because, you know, I might have those capabilities and that opportunity, and that would be pretty sweet. And if nothing else, I can always come back here. But anyways, I'm going to end it off here. Later.